Okay, how you doing? It's Chris Cole here, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video showing you daemon tracking. Uh, this software is currently available on the Warrior Forum as a WSO at a fantastic price for what it does. If you compare this to the likes of Ads Track Gold, which is um, of a feeling at seventy-seven dollars, Ads Track Gold. So currently when I last checked this demon tracking was selling at $17 so it's quite a saving and from what I could see it's doing pretty much the same. I have set up a test campaign and uh, I'll come back to this in a minute but what I want to show you is the actual setting up of a campaign and going through the, the link sequence to getting your clicks and your conversion and whatnot being recorded. What you want to do here is you want to come into setup, campaign setup give it a name so we'll call this test 2 and the method of promotion we're going with is direct linking we don't want to rotate offers you can rotate offers if you want uh, you need to set up a network and you need to set up another as an account and we're not interested in hiding a refer and we'll add this campaign select offer 1 my squeeze page yeah you'll, you'll set it up to your squeeze page select offer 1 and then add campaign now what it does is it generates you a tracking link which you can either copy and paste from here or if you come over here and you click this it automatically copies it straight onto your clipboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up a notepad and I'm going to paste that on. So that's my tracking ID um, and of course I can put a keyword at the end so you can have the one default tracking ID for your one squeeze page and then if you're giving it out to somebody if it's if his name was John so you could John C or whatever you wanted to put at the end just track the keywords or you could set up a separate campaign for each individual person it's up to you how you want to do this but in this case we'll go with the route of using John C and having the one campaign to the one squeeze page the next thing you want to do when you come into this then is you're lifting your track back pixel and your post back URL and here you can see it's your standard sort of image it's uh, an invisible image that you embed within your page so you want to copy that and you want to go to a page which you're going to put the pixel on so once you lift your tracking pixel what you want to do is you want to come to whatever page you determine as your success page uh, it could be your OTO page or it could be the download page whatever page you want uh, you want to come in here and go into your HTML editor and paste it in here like I've so Paste it into the page here like I've shown you and update your page. Now this won't show on the actual page It's actually just the fact that it's calling for this that it, it, it sends a signal back or sends a link back to say that You've had a hit to the page and if we then view the page the New tab We then view the page here you can see well here you can't see it but the tracking is actually on the page so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to th go through with a fresh browser uh, I'll drop this browser out and this one here I'll clear recent history clear all the history and then we're going to use our tracking ID with uh, John C I'll bring this down and paste it in here you can see uh, you have your tracking ID and John C as I said, you could create an individual tracking ID for every single person or just change this. And I'll show you the benefits of this um, as we go through the sequence. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click enter. And we're going to go through. This will do the redirect. And it takes you across the page like this. Now I deliberately haven't used this page as the, um, the success page. I've used a different page and that page is so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pretend as if there's a link here that would click and we come across this further page so we'll paste it go it's actually email with tracking it's an identical page but I now have the tracking added into it once we've actually clicked the and landed onto the success page with the tracking pixel what we want to do then is we want to come back into daemon tracking and click overview refresh this page and scroll down here you can see is our second test which we've had one click and it's recorded this click and if we come down here we could see again it has each one of the uh, 
campaign set up separately. Now, if we come across the traffic analysis and select keywords and scroll down here, you can see John C has had one click and that's where it can get quite good because uh, you can have the one campaign set up and it's just a matter of changing the keyword on the end of the it's just a matter of changing the keyword name on the end. So what we'll do now is we'll try it again, but we'll add a different uh, name rather than the John C and we'll see how that goes. All right, so carrying on, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a second test. We're gonna add a different keyword in. And I'll come across the fresh browser again, clear recent history, clear now. Now what I want to do is I want to paste in this second one. Now it's the same initial link, but I've just changed the keyword to second click. And this should record this second keyword, you know, and give you it through in the tracking. So if I hit enter, it takes me across to the first page. So then I go across to the confirm page, paste and go, it's email with tracking. That said, it should have picked me up now and recorded this uh, second keyword, which was the second click keyword. We'll go back across to the demon tracking and we'll have a look for it. Okay, I've refreshed the page and now what we've got is the different keywords. There's the John C test, then there's me having a play, and then there's actually the second click, which we've just put through. Uh, it's seen one click and it's seen one conversion and that's it. So you can record your stats by doing it this way or you can create a separate campaign. It's up to you how to do it. I just wanted to show you the different options you have with this daemon tracking software. So I hope you found this video helpful in seeing how you can use this for your solo ads and if you are interested in it, I will include a link for it below this video uh, to send you across to the sales page and as I said when I last checked it was around $17 for this software which is a fantastic price when you look at the price of other softwares of a similar nature like AdTracks Gold or some one of those ones so thanks a lot for watching